Hello everyone. We are doing this session recorded in case the Skype doesn't work. <laughs> we are to discuss about making politics and making decisions in developing countries. And I have been have invited here to be with me Councillor Rispa Oma, who is one of the rare female decision makers in Nakuru Municipal Council. She has a long experience in politics here, and being a woman, she's quite a rare lady. I would first like to invite Rispa to introduce herself shortly. Thank you very much. I'm Councillor Rispa Hatinoma, representing a ward called Kimubini Ward, one of the largest wards in Naku Town. I'm also chairing education committee in uh, my municipal. Yeah. Rispa, with my students we have been talking a lot about democracy and importance of good governance. How would you describe decision making processes, politics, democracy here in Nakuru, in Kenya, maybe in developing countries altogether? Oh, if I may start with the um, um, democracy uh, in politics uh, in Kenya and uh, then I'll come later to say anything about democracy in Nakuru. Um, in our country, okay, we tend to think that we have democracy, but uh, it is not well practiced. So as at now, we are waiting for our new constitution to be implemented and there is where we are banking all our all our needs all our wishes that after the new constitution constitution is implemented we hope that everything will be okay but at the moment uh, there we are speaking it people are talking about democracy and it is not well implemented. Yes, but why not? Uh, I think we have a problem in our country, and uh, the problem, the main problem, is leadership. So this has been a very big problem in our country. What do you mean with leadership? Um, leadership. What I mean with leadership, I mean the type of leaders that we are having in our country. Oh, uh, they tend to to lead in a, a good way, but uh, after they are elected, they change and uh, they practice some uh, corruption that uh, may not lead the people of Kenya to that 100% uh, uh, or 90% democratic country that we want. So you mean that the leaders do not work for the country or for the municipality, but they more work for themselves and the, for their friends? Oh, leaders, okay. There are some who are trying, and uh, most leaders are not working perfectly for the country. Kenya has two leading parties, PNU and ODM. Is it right to say that the parties are partly tribal, or are they real political parties? Um, the parties are tribal. That one is true. Is, uh, in PNU, the majority there comes from one tribe. In ODM, it's a bit uh, cosmopolitan, but uh, I mean in ODM, it's a bit co cosmopolitan because uh, it has uh, different types of tribes. But still, the majority in ODM are coming from Luo mm. Nyanza. From West. Yeah, from West. Yes. Kenya is entering elections in March 4, 2013. Yes. Tell us a bit how the campaigns run here. You are running for times, the county council. Yes, um, I'm, I'm running for the county representative now which is in the new constitution and um, I was to buy on that higher seat but I'm still uh, engaging myself so that uh, I cannot mess up with my politics because I'm still again in school and um, at the moment there's a big confusion in Kenyan's politics 
even we are not sure whether we are going to do our elections on 4th March, the way it has been said. So we don't know because there are much to be done which are not yet done. The machines that are supposed to be used during elections are not yet in place. The people who are supposed to use them or to work with them are not yet trained on how to use them. So we are not sure, but people had started campaigning. We, had st we have started talking to people, and we think all will be well. Yes, <laughs> yes my friend.